it's been a really sweet slow morning and today is one of the first days that it's actually sunny out the last probably two weeks here in switzerland have just been constant rain and cloudiness every single day it's a little bit cool this morning um, but the sun is out it's shining and it feels so nice i love rainy weather and i love being cozy but i've definitely missed the sun so i took advantage of that this morning by coming out and having my quiet time out here and my coffee and just doing a little bit of reading today i thought i'd take you along with me throughout my day let me know if you guys enjoy just daily vlogs i know for me i'm kind of like well this is just my everyday life so sometimes it feels a bit boring but i know i love watching daily vlogs and i love seeing what other people are up to just in their normal everyday lives and so yeah let me know if you guys like these kind of videos you can also let me know in the comments below if there's any other kind of videos that you want me to do more of or different videos whatever it is i'd love to hear it i think we are over 3,000 subscribers right now and it just means like so much to me i never expected that even a hundred people would watch my videos let alone you know 3,000 people here in this community i love it when you guys comment down below and yeah it makes me feel like there's real people watching uh, my videos sometimes it just feels like a number but i like it when i can actually hear from you guys and you're always the sweetest right now i'm trying to upload every saturday and maybe i would think about um, uploading twice a week but for now once a week is like a solid um, goal for me I'm not sure what I'll get up to today but I do have some things that I want to do around the house including as I was sitting here coming out onto our balcony I realized that our herb garden that we have right above here is looking a little bit wild <laughs> like I need to trim back some of the herbs we have mint lavender basil rosemary oregano parsley we have a lot i just need to be better at using them more often um so that's what i'm gonna try to do today chives are going a little bit crazy. I definitely need to cut these kitchen with my basket of herbs that I harvested I guess you could say um, I have lavender mint and then the chives um, I caught a lot of the chives because they were just way overgrown and so I need to figure out what I'm gonna actually do with these so the mint is pretty easy we will use this up pretty quickly this I will use in water in tea this is a really good trick for any kind of fresh herbs produce is you just fill up a mason jar with some water or any kind of cup you have and just put your herbs in there and store them in the fridge and that keeps them fresh for a lot longer I love the smell of lavender I feel like it's something you either love or really don't like um, but I love it but I just don't always know exactly what to do with it. I'm gonna set some aside just to keep out because I think it looks really pretty and some I'm going to set aside for my bath later on. But let me know if you guys have any other ideas for lavender. I know you can make like lavender infused syrups, you can bake with it. There's a lot of different things you can do. remember how beautiful 
beautiful it was earlier but all of a sudden it just got super dark and the wind started blowing like crazy so I came and I rescued our plants from the ledge so that they don't fall over again it was sunny like 10 minutes ago and now it is so dark inside I will probably pick up the camera again tomorrow. This sky is so dark and so stormy. <sighs> I'm glad that I got to enjoy, oh, and now it's raining really hard. I'm glad that I got to enjoy a little bit of the sun this morning. Yeah, cause it's like one o'clock in the afternoon and it's so dark. So if it brightens up, I will talk to you guys later today. If not, I'll pick up the camera and chat with you guys tomorrow. because yesterday it just got so dark and it stayed dark in our apartment till late into the evening. And then on top of that, our neighbors above us decided to have a housewarming party till four o'clock in the morning. And it was really, really loud. And so I don't think Chris and I got to sleep until after four o'clock. Um, so yeah, didn't get a ton of sleep last night. I guess I never really got the chance to finish the vlog yesterday and close it out. But before I do that, I thought I would share with you guys how I make a lavender oatmeal bath soak um, using the lavender that I picked yesterday. I also made some tea with the mint that I picked yesterday. So what you're gonna need is lavender. I don't know, two tablespoons worth. Of course, you don't need to use exact measurements in this. Um, and especially this flowery part smell so good. And then you're gonna want about a cup of oats. You can use instant oats, rolled oats, um, whatever you kind of have on hand, and then some sort of string or twine, and then um, some kind of material that you have. I'm just using an old t-shirt, and the material is quite thin and light, um, so you can use any sort of fabric that you have. Reuse something old, just make sure that it is fairly thin so that your oats and your lavender and everything will actually get into your bath water. You don't have to blend it up, but I think that this really helps to, I don't know, like when it's finer, it just helps to steep the water and you're going to get that nice like milky kind of color in the bath and I think it just distributes it better and it also makes it smell a lot stronger so it really brings out the smell of the lavender. It's kind of the same idea of using like a mortar and pestle. It just makes the lavender smell a lot stronger, which is really nice. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is cut my fabric so you can see that it is 
fairly thin. It just has to be big enough to fit all of our oats and our lavender. So I think I'm gonna do mine about probably 30 by 30. So I have my material cut. I think I did it a little bit bigger, but I figured it's better to have it too big than um, I can always trim off any excess. So now you're just gonna dump that oatmeal lavender mixture right into the center. And now I'm actually going to add a little drop of lavender essential oils just to make it smell a little bit stronger. It already smells quite strong um, but just for a little extra you could also add like peppermint tea tree anything that's going to be soothing to your skin and now I'm just going to cut a piece of string then I'm just going to wrap it up make sure that there's no open areas where it might fall out and then you're just gonna twist so it looks kind of like a cute little dumpling and then just tie it off. Make sure you tie it nice and tight. And essentially it's just like a tea bag. So as you're filling up your tub with water, you can just put this in and it should fill your water, make it kind of like a milky color. Obviously the lavender, it smells really good. It can help to calm you down. And the oatmeal is really good for your skin. Oatmeal is a anti-inflammatory. And so it will help with any sort of irritated skin, especially dry skin. So this is really something good to make in the winter time. It nourishes it and it hydrates it. And if you have any sort of like dry patches or irritated patches, you can actually take this once it's wet and kind of rub it on those areas and it should soothe them. All right, so I will probably have a bath now and just chill out for the rest of the evening. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little weekend vlog. Just pretty much me figuring out what I should do with the things that we have in our little garden. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.